In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color scheme when you're making photo mosaics. I'm going to choose this basic tiling preset, which is in the paint synthesizer mode under auto paint, in the category called mosaic for source images with white backgrounds. These presets are programmed to ignore the white background in the source image. So now, I'm going to press action and then go to the editor to explain what's happening. If we look at the brush source, we will see that the source of the brush is an image folder called random images, and that there are 11 images in the folder. You can always change the folder of images by control clicking on the Mac or right clicking with Windows in the editor, and choosing, new image folder brush. You can also do that by choosing file, paint synthesizer, new image folder brush. The next setting that we're going to look at, is the paintbrush load which tells us what the brush is painting with, and what algorithms are affecting the output. So here we see that the source is the brush, which we just defined in the brush source panel as being a folder of images. And this algorithm too is set to paint color mean shift. That means it's going to try to colorize the folder of images to closely match the colors of the source image. If we turn that off it'll just be the raw images in the folder of images which in some cases you would want, especially if you had pre-designed your images and colors that you wanted to use. In this case, using the colorization is much better for this image. Since these images are random and not designed for this source image, they don't particularly match the source image colors. So colorizing them makes a much better image. The next important setting for coloring photo mosaics is the paint fill setup. Right now this is set up to fill from the paintbrush load that we were just talking about. And paint brush load is pointing to the paint brush which is pointing to the folder of images which are being colorized using the source image colors. Now I'm going to add another colorizing option in addition to the paint brush load. I'm going to change the fill from the brush load to paint color. In the fill from mod option I'm going to bring back the paint brush load because we still want to use the folder of images. I will do that by choosing add brush load. So now I'll still be using the image of folders and colorization like before but I will also have options in the paint color source, which we will look at next. The other great reason for setting it up like this is that you can control how much brush load you want to use with this slider. Next, I'm going to go to paint color source, and I'm going to set the colorization for the paint color for this fill from setting. So just to recap, we are going to fill with the paint color, but we're also going to be using the brush load, which is pointing to the brush source, which is the folder of images. And we are colorizing them with the source image colors. And on top of that we are also going to further colorize the folder of images with the paint colors in the paint color source settings here. So right now, in the paint color source, the default for this preset is the source image colors. In this setting, you will not see any different effect. So I'm going to change to the palette colors and those are coming from here. Now the palette colors are blending in with our other settings. This particular setting is looking at the palette, and trying to match the source color to the palette colors as best it can. So with this palette the closest color to her skin tone are these green colors, and that's why it's choosing those colors. There are other settings that you can choose here. You can randomize the color using these settings and then blend them in, with its randomization slider. I'll show you a few. You can also offset the luminance. I encourage you to also try different settings in the color mode other than the palette colors. There are lots of color options to choose from. I'll just change this to grayscale to demonstrate. So that's the basics of colorization of photo mosaics. In the next video, I'll talk about mixing in the source image to help define your photo mosaics. So just to recap, the important settings for colorizing photo mosaics are the brush source which is pointing to the folder of images, paint brush load which is set to colorize the images, paint fill setup which is pointing to the paint brush load and the paint color source. And finally, the paint color source which adds additional colorizing options using the palette colors.